Hi! In this tutorial, we'll be demonstrating how to make scrolling containers using our Comfy example. Proto.io makes it easy to create scrollable areas within your prototypes. You can create containers that can scroll vertically, horizontally, or omnidirectionally. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll create two scrollable containers on the product screen of our project. The first one will be a vertically scrollable product list. To create this scrollable container, we'll need to add more products that expand beyond our canvas area. We'll start by adjusting our zoom settings so we can work more efficiently. Let's duplicate the existing products to make the list longer. We'll then edit the image, title, and price of each product to match our project's needs. Now let's select all products, including the featured product on top, group them together, and rename the group Products. Although grouping is not required to create a scrollable area, it allows you to keep your project tidier. One way to change the new group into a scrollable container is by clicking on the Scrollable button at the top left corner of our screen. Alternatively, we can right-click on our group and choose Convert to Scrollable Container. This will create a container whose bottom edge will match the bottom of our screen. Creating a container will give you access to its Properties panel on the right. Depending on how your container has been set up, Proto.io will automatically suggest a default scrolling direction. In our case, we need to ensure the default option is indeed set to vertically. Let's preview our project. As you can see, the scrollable product list we just created looks and works exactly as intended. The second scrollable area we'll create is the new arrivals top area, which will turn into a horizontally scrolling carousel. First, we'll enter the Products container we created earlier by double-clicking on it. Then, we duplicate the New Arrivals group twice. We can replace the text and image for each of the new groups accordingly. Next, we'll select all three groups and create a scrollable container. Once again, we'll ensure our scroll direction is set to Horizontally from the Container Properties on the right. Let's preview our work so far. Our products container now scrolls both horizontally and vertically. Finally, let's go through some more detailed customization options we have with our scrollable containers. We can activate the Treat Scroll Container as Snap Carousel option so that when swiping, scrolling will pause at each new product. We can enable or disable scrolling beyond the boundaries of our container. Enabling inertia means that after our mouse or finger leaves the screen, the container will continue to scroll in the intended direction until it slowly stops. Disabling inertia will cause scrolling to stop the moment the screen is released. Enabling pinching and zooming allows the user to zoom into our scrollable container. We can also enable or disable the scroll bar when the user is scrolling. Finally, we can set any default position that we want our container to start from upon preview. In this case, for instance, we could set our horizontal container to open 390 pixels from the left, starting from the Staff Picks group. And that's it! You're now equipped to easily create scrollable areas in your projects.